Tomorrow is a special day in Santa Maria, and in the morning, Broadway will close down as floats roll through the city for the Elks Rodeo Parade. KSBY's Jacob Dizon spoke with a few of the entries in the parade and has a preview of what you can expect. While the evening action of the Elks Rodeo takes place over at the arena for the past 80 years, the Saturday morning of Rodeo Weekend has been reserved for the streets of downtown Santa Maria as 100 plus floats, classic cars and now ponies cruise down Broadway. I've actually been here the last couple of nights until after after 11 o'clock at night trying to get the little buildings built for the float. Lisa Leonard says she's been offering pony rides at Waller Park for the past 24 years, but Saturday morning she'll walk them down Broadway for the first time. We're going to let the kids walk the ponies through and I'll have a float that's going to basically replicate what this place looks like and and uh, the little kids can get right on that and have their you know, their time to shine. Also in Saturday's parade, Jay McCord of the Santa Maria Model A Ford Club will be cruising through downtown with a couple special guests. I will be in space 16 carrying the Grand Marshals, Keith and Olivia Bugle. The Bugles tell me this is their 45th time participating in the rodeo parade, and this year they're serving as parade marshals as a couple. It is a great honor. Uh, it's something that uh, we both never never dreamed of or anything else. Smile, wave at everybody, and bring that crowd in so they can watch the parade. McCord says his team at the Model A Club are also preparing for their upcoming Orchid Car Show, adding that their classic rides never fail to attract the eyes of parade spectators and bring exposure to his organization. Well, the older ones say, I drove one of those when I was a child. Uh, the, the younger ones, just love them for the piece of art that they are. So our cars are in their 90s now and uh, still functioning well. Meanwhile, if your little one is interested in being part of the parade, Lisa Leonard tells me there's still room for them on her pony float. I got a couple extra shirts for the people that, that might not have one and, uh, and we'll just go as a group and get it and go out there. She says Saturday morning at 9 a.m. You're more than welcome to bring your kids over to her float on Mill Street, where they'll be just about ready to get going for the parade. In Santa Maria, Jacob Dizon, KSBY News. And tomorrow morning, Broadway will be closed from Mill Street down to Enos Drive. Now here's a look at that closure. The closure goes from Mill Street to Enos Drive again, and something to note here is that there is no parking allowed on the parade route on Broadway between Fessler Street and Enos Drive.